last welcome bag. It's me, Randy, and here's the look that I did for my first video of 2019. Um, I used new products that I got from um, Lena, and then we have a new foundation from L'Oreal, um, their 24 hour fresh wear foundation that they just launched. So if you would like to see how I did this look, then keep watching. So I picked up this new um, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Um, they just launched um, just last week and um, I'm in the lightest shade. This is I believe shade 20. Um, yeah, 20 in ivory. I've been using this for the past week and overall this is a really really good everyday foundation it um it claims to have um buildable um medium to full coverage so i i haven't tried to use it on full coverage yet because i'm not um into much coverage anyways i like a bit of skin to peek through this comes in a uh, pump uh, bottle this is glass so you need to be very careful let us start with the foundation when I use my sponge I'm not used to um, using brushes when it comes to my uh, my foundation I always always use sponge so I'm just gonna put it right here so if you can see it's a bit light I'm in the uh, lightest shade that they have because if I go to the next shade uh, it's a bit too dark for me so I kind of have to go onto the lighter and what I do is just I contour because if I don't contour you're gonna notice that it's too light for me it has a really really good finish it really lasted me uh, a few hours uh, I think that that was 12 hours but it says that it could last 24 hours and it could still look fresh but it lasted 12 hours so that's good so I I went to Green Hills with some friends and then Mejuma in it with all the lights and stuff and then I can um, I can still see na ma maganda pa rin yung finish niya sa akin. And to be honest, hindi ako nag-blot noong day na yon. I don't do blotting that much kasi nga, ano, dry, I, I have dry skin anyway, so hindi ako masyado nag-oil up. Oh my god, I'm so light. So loyal, you should come up with a few more shades because this does not cut it. So fit me. I am a shade. What's my shade? So my shade is 120. You can already see that the shade here is so light. Let's see. See? So if you're a 120 in um, Maybelline Fit Me, this is the closest shade that you will get. But it's a bit too light, so you have to adjust. Very eventually it gets darker because it depends on the acid which is in your skin. But to me it gets darker uh, anyways. It's so lightweight too, so parang wala kang foundation at all. It's just like you put in a really light moisturizer on your face. That's how it feels like. And I, and I also get that um, with other foundation, like Fit Me foundation. 
yung parang cracks dito sa gilid ng mouth after a few hours. So I don't get that here. Oh my god, I'm so white. That's... Uh, I have to put some on my neck. My leftovers is a bunch. I don't know why I do this. I contour under my chin anyways. I mean, it looks horrible. It looks horrible with the camera I'm using, but in real life, this is the bomb. If only they had the, the shade that is really matching my skin tone, it would have been so good, but they don't, so. We have to work with what we have. Okay, for those who will be asking, kung magkano, um, this this is supposed to be 550, but since they just launched, they have this introduction price of 450, um, sa Lazada and even <clears throat> even in Watson. So take the chance to get this because this one's really good um, there are just six shades as of the moment I hope they bring um, more shades in the future but this is really good uh, for everyday foundation and um, since naka sale sila why not grab the chance to get 100 pesos off your foundation I'm gonna conceal so I have my concealer over here so that's just the Fit Me um, Concealer, which is in the shade uh, 20. Yeah, 20 in sand. Because I had a lighter uh, foundation, it kind of made my concealer a bit dark. So pardon me if this is darker, actually. See, it's not like really dark but you can see that it's a yellow tone because it's the foundation is really light especially with the light uh, let me turn off my light so you can see the difference with and without light so this is what it looks like when I don't have the light on so you can see meron pa rin ako mga um, imperfections that's peeking through again you can build this up but um, to me personally I like it this way because it's hot in the Philippines and like you can't have that mount, uh, that much foundation because it's hot eventually I haven't tried with this one so let's just turn on the light again okay I could never ever skip this step because I have deep set eyes that I really have to conceal unless I want to go for a more ghostly look as if I don't look ghostly already. So just to be a, uh, a bit less ghostly, I do this step. ran out of um, my setting powder my loose powder this is what I use all the time detail makeover mineral loose powder so it's a, it's a bit of an emergency so this is what I use so get yourself a baby powder it does the job well I think it does the job so I'm just gonna put it here, so my powder off, and then I'm gonna apply it under my eyes to set it. So I just, I really need to bake my face. That's just a step that I got used to, and I have to do it. with that so now I'm gonna do my brows so 
I'm gonna just brush up my brows. So I have my brow pencil, if you can see it's so short. Because I sharp my brow pencil every time that I do my brow. But I like it short because I have really really bad eyesight. So when I have a mirror in front of my face, I put it so close to my face that if I have like a long pencil, it's just it doesn't help me. So you can see how close I put my 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 mirror to my face. So so that I can see. So this left um, left eyebrows is the one I pencil in first because this is the thinnest one. So I know this one is already a bit full. So what I do is that I pencil this in so it could match this one. Get what I'm saying so anyways if you can see I have a gap right here so I kind of have to fake um, the hairs right there so that's what I need to have my pencil sharpened all the time for the eyes I'm going to I don't have any um, matte pink shades so I'm just gonna use a blush that I have. So this is Wet and Wild in Pearlescent Pink. So I'm just gonna use a uh, crease brush to put it on my crease. So I'm just gonna load up my brush here. Oops. I'm just gonna put it lightly. I bring it in here. So we need to make sure it's super matte. There's a bit of shit. The pinks that I have, they're very glittery. So it'll shimmer a lot more on the I'm gonna grab my Detail Makeover Metallics palette. It's so pretty. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab um, the shade Serious. This is super pigmented, so you really have to be careful when you're applying it because it, there's gonna be kickback or fallout. So I'm gonna do a This long, it really, really, really is an inconvenience for me. I'm going to use this Caroline Pocket Palette and the um, Set festival, so this is really, really tiny. 
I just bought it just because there wasn't an event that I was going to and I don't have these particular shades well I bought this before I bought this so if you can see there's a variety of pinks purples and greens so very ano uh, very Mardi Gras siguro kaya festival palette so colors here is um, sparkly pero I'm gonna take one of the light um, one of the light violets or purples so I think I'm going to use a second let me clean my brush a bit so I have this one I haven't cleaned my brushes which I need to get done maybe later after I do this tutorial so I have this cleaner that you can buy in Glad King you can also order that from Shopee Lazada whatever so um, so I'm just gonna clean my brush or attempt to clean my brush but it really 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 um, gets rid of the color but again guys you really have to clean your brushes okay so I'm gonna use this shade just if you can see it's like the line that I did I kind of want to blur it out a little bit so I'm gonna use this pencil brush so I, if you want pigment then you should buy those high-end makeup but if you just need something um, a fun color then but not so they have browns as well but I do have many brown colors already so I did not need that I was actually doing a Barbie look when I bought this so come on Amy. Actually, I'm not sure what look I'm, look I'm going for, so let's just have fun. Can you see that it's going from like orange, even though I put pink, and then parang ano, very sunset -y. Maybe I should call that sunset look. So this is what it looks like once you blur it out. Now I feel like I need to do uh, do this and this darker. So I'm just uh, I'm just gonna go back into this decent like makeover palette and then um, I feel like I want to use. I'm gonna go back to serious again. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to darken the corners of my eyes a bit. It's a little pressure than you may. Malaki kong palette. Like, you feel um, unsatisfied with your eye look if you're not able to use all of the colors in that palette so i'm having that trouble right so if you can see i'm just leaving this center without any um any of the purple i guess we're gonna put another color that color that would make it
so it might look a little crazy right now, but we're gonna blend it. We're gonna put other colors so you wouldn't look crazy. We're not gonna stay like this. Okay, so chill. Let's take the crease brush again and this blush on. And then just gonna make sure that the purple and the pink gets blended after all of that purple. So if you leave it, uh, leave it like this. You have, you know, you look like you have a black eye, so you kind of have to bring light back to your eyes. So what I will do is that I'm gonna use this color. Um, this color says heat. I'm not sure if I'm reading it right, but. That's the color that I'm going to use on the center of my lid. So feeling ko parang medyo oi yung pagkabrite niya. And what I'll do is that I'm gonna get this, this one. Let's see if it's gonna make a difference. So clearly this is not, I'm going to the church Sunday look. It looks like I'm gonna go to the club's look. Initially, gusto ko yung mga pa sweet girl na na look lang sana, but I have to go there. That's mostly how my looks happen. So. Para pantay, I'm gonna go with a uh, key to him. And then I'm gonna put it on my other eye, and then I'm gonna put a uh, Misa on top. One totally bailed out on me earlier, so while I was uh, filming, um, it went dead. So I had to charge. So what I did is that the shade, the Misa and key that I blended. It and I placed it here on the center of, from the center of my lid and then I pulled it down to this inner corner of my eye I think it just looks better than that way it's a crazy look if you have this much light but I feel like in in real life if you can see um, if you have a more dimmed light then then it would look a bit normal plus I'm like wearing glasses so who would see that anyways only me knows that I have purple purple eyeshadow on so see ain't nobody's gonna see that except for me when I check out myself in the mirror that's what's frustrating with my glasses. No matter how snatched your eyeshadow is, they will see this first. So, I'm just gonna put eyeliner and then I might put the lashes. Let's see what I'm gonna go for. But I'm gonna just put eyeliner off camera and let my phone charge a bit, okay? I decided to Put in lashes. So these are the cheap lashes. 
purchase that I got from the Victoria. So it looks nice. I was thinking like if you went all the way there, why not go all the way? So I just put this uh, mink lashes on. Like uh, it's not mink. It's let's face it, the talent depends. It's not mink. So next thing I will do, I will contour. So if you can see, this is Everbalena um, Contour Duo. Oh, I'm just gonna use an angled brush, and then I'm gonna go in with the um, contour shade. So Everbalena also has um, a big contour palette that um, that has three shades of contour, uh, three shades of highlight, but I opted to buy this one because I'm super pale and I do not need um, the darker contour shades anyway, so I'm just gonna put some on my big forehead and then what I do with this contour palette is that I use the light shade and then I use it under my eyes it's like the brightening powder that I use so remember I put baby powder on me so that's where I put the highlighting powder Then I'm gonna go to that um, this blush on the same uh, blush on that I used earlier for my eyes. Oh, and oh by the way, um, if you are gonna recreate this eye look, you can put some under your. Um, on your under eye, so right here, uh, with the shades that we we place on the upper lid. Um, it's just that I'm not gonna put it because I have this thing uh, with my eye where it produces excess tears. So me putting it under my eyes is just gonna be pointless because I will be wiping it away anyways. Okay, so next is I'm gonna grab my EB Advance Glow Out Highlighter. Let's do some highlight. So it's a gold highlight. I feel like 2018 was a good year for Ever Belena because they launched a lot of products and they really oh really improved their makeup line with the packaging with the products that they come up with it's no longer just lipsticks and um, face powders which is what they were used to so right now they have highlighters they have their contour powders so there are a lot of other um, other products now, unlike before. So, and my light is back on. So I'm just gonna put my lipstick, and what I will use for today is my Mac Please Me um, sheet. So since the eyes are already heavy, what I will do is just I'm going to use this really nice pink shade. I love this. I use it every day. Okay, so 
Lastly, I will lock the look with my Nichido Matte Finish Setting Spray. So I'm just going to spray it over my face. Okay, so it's now dry and yeah, so this is the look.